Things have certainly taken a turn for the screwy because we saw Flacco in his pajamas running around the woods near where we were camped. This had Darcy nervous, so I figured maybe we ought to go into town and pick up an electric fence. These normally keep animals in, and we wanted to keep one out. Seemed like a good idea. Okay, this, I think that's more for smaller critters, birds or okay. whatever. Garden grow electric fence. What right. we want are these guys here. Okay. We can just hook that up to, to a wire. Okay. We've got wire. And I'm sure that'll take care of anything where we are. Okay. We get its attention anyway. Oh. So. We got plenty of wire, so okay. that takes care of that. Problem. All right. That'll do it. That'll knock the pee water out of anything where we are. I'll bet you. All right. Let's see what happens. We'll get that one. So, with our newfound security in a bag, we hopped in the truck and headed back out to Belshaw, where we were camped. This is what we're going to do. These posts here are going to hold our fence. Okay. And it's going to make a perfect horseshoe over to here protecting the trailer. Okay. Now, nothing can come through here without running into the fence. So okay. this is on guard all night. It runs on a battery. Okay. Doesn't all need right. a generator or anything. Okay. And if our gentleman caller comes around camp, he'll get a little bit of a shock. Well, while Chris is finishing the fence, I'm going to set up the trail cam, see what, what's coming by. Okay, I got the wire strung. Make sure nothing is in the way here. I haven't got it on yet, but uh, we will turn it on when it gets dark. Okay. But it just runs like that all the way around, and like I say, it's battery operated. But you have to, when you come outside for any reason, you've got to step over it because it'll be on all yeah. the time. As okay. soon as we turn it on, it'll be on. All so right. step over it, and uh, you'll be okay. 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 Tomorrow's opening day of turkey season, and I got the perfect meal for tonight. Moose. <laughs> How often do you eat moose? We've had it a couple of times. A friend of ours got a moose up in British Columbia. And I've got it spiced up with Montreal spice, which is four or five kinds of pepper and some other herbs in there, a little bit of salt. And I'm going to cook it four minutes on the first side flip it over and cook it another minute and a half or so, turn the heat down and let it go another minute, and it'll be done. Seven and a half, eight minutes, and it'll be good. That's the best way to cook it. Okay, and along with it, Darcy's going to whip up a tossed salad, and I think I'm going to stick a couple of potatoes in the microwave. They cook fast in there, four minutes and they're break. Put on a little bit of sour cream. That's some good stuff. So we'll have a good meal in less than 10 minutes and I just pull the shit oh. not again oh my god damn oh she's coming on the door don't let him in don't let him in ah. stay back oh shit damn I didn't want to have to do that oh honey damn it's nuts oh my god to move here. Oh my god. What is going on? It ran off. Damn. There it is. Documenting everything about this. And that's... Yeah, maybe there's something here on the trail cam. Oh. I didn't want to have to do that. And, yeah. I didn't find anything out there. I 
I would imagine he's hurt pretty bad, but I didn't see anything. I, we're not going to go out there and chase him around in the dark. I mean, that's silly. If he's bad wounded, you just don't want to try to chase a wounded animal in the dark. Uh, An angry, well, angry one too. Boy, he was just sounding he's really... He's crazy. I wonder what in the hell his problem is. What? I, I can't imagine. I've never seen anybody like that. I, I don't know. Do you think he's wounded enough he's not going to try to hurt us again? Or, I mean... Oh, keep every gun in here loaded. We'll lock everything up. I don't know. I think... See, the problem is, I shot him with a turkey load. And that's only size two shot. Hmm. That's that's small. It's not like buckshot. It's not hmm. the big stuff. It was close range, but uh, hmm. I'm I'm sure he's I'm sure he's hurting. But uh, God, you I, must be I don't exhausted. Know. I'm exhausted. What a it's just emotional. I mean, for me, it's just emotional. I'm, I'm drained. Yeah, I... Totally I'm, drained. This isn't what I was expecting when we came over here. Mm -mm. Well, let's see if the trail cam shows anything. Hmm. Well, I hope he walks in front of the camera. Hold there he is, and he's in the fence. Ugh, he didn't like that. That's when he howled. Okay, he rolled away from the door, then jumped off into the brush. I can't tell how bad he's hurt. And tomorrow, we'll get up as soon as it's light enough to see, and I'll see if I can find a blood trail. Or I saw the direction he went. He went straight on across the creek and up. There's a hillside over there. I guess the fence did its job, so to speak. I mean, we wouldn't have known he was coming at us. No, it shocked him. It, it, it shocked did. him. It, it got him. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. It was, uh, nobody should have to do that. Mm. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. Well, I kicked the generator on. We can brew up some coffee. Man, it still smells like gunpowder in here, you know? Yeah, it'll, it'll go away. I want to get outside and I know. take a look around. Yeah, see if gotta, we can find any sign. We gotta do that. Well, he sure made a mess of the fence. Yeah. There's a... He dropped something over there? It's his axe. He had an axe. I guess I don't touch anything. I don't know what to do here. Oops. Because it's like a crime scene or whatever. I don't know. Well, don't call it a crime scene. Well, it's something. Pull that down. Yeah. It's ready to fire. That's okay. the safety. I remember the training, but yeah, it's good to have something for protection. Thanks, honey. Well, he we really tore the fence up over here. He did. And as best I can tell, he ran out through there. I think. I think he made it over the creek. Yeah, there's to that hillside. We'll start there. I don't. I don't know. It's just such a mess. Yeah, it is. Let's take a look at this. You found. It's 
a nasty looking weapon. Yes, it is. Jeez. God, what did he have against us? Jeez, are we just, were we on his territory or something? Oh, he's just a nut job. Now we gotta go find him. Okay. Or, or not. Maybe he's... Or find evidence that he, uh, I don't know. If he's just wounded, he's gonna be more angry. Yeah. But you think you got him pretty good, the second one? Or you don't know? No, I... You don't know? The second shot, he was just... I don't even know if I really see him. I heard him, I saw him for a second, I just shot out there. The first shot, I'm sure... You hit him. Yeah, because sure he was right there at the right? door. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I don't see any blood. Okay. Yeah, we'll I don't... I don't... Go. All right. We'll go okay. look. Ugh. Boy, he was running for going through this stuff, huh? Well, by the time he got this far, he's out of sight. Uh. Uh, I'd already shot at him before here and I still don't see any blood and now we're just by guess and by gosh we're just yeah gonna have, to, have to hike through there all right keep your keep your pistol close I, don't I am don't worry he may be miles away now or I don't know God, weird weird night I think she's probably gonna be around to see it This is so strange. This is the weirdest thing I've ever had happen to me in my life, I think. Oh my god. Hey! Oh, oh. Uh. Uh. I don't want to get too close. He's dead, I think. I, okay. Oh. I think I need to see more. I'm gonna stay here, honey. I don't want to get any closer. Uh. See, no, Dan? he doesn't have a pulse. Oh. Okay. He's dead. Okay. Oh my gosh. I guess we we have to call the police or something, right? I mean, this is a crime. I mean, it's a... We'll have to, what is this? We'll have to go up to our spot on the hill where we got the cell and we'll call the county sheriff. All right. Oh my God. This is the strangest day ever. Ah. Jeez. Oh, how are you doing, honey? You just, you just killed somebody. God. Ah. Let's go call the sheriff. All right. Dang. Ugh. I should see if he's got any ID or anything. Okay. No. Oh. 
No. I'm not gonna monkey with it. No, because yeah, they'd probably need it pretty clean anyway when they come look at it. Ugh. Well, that's a story. It's still hard for Darcy and I to look at it. And I'm sure that it always will be. A harsh reminder of what life is and what it can do to you, what can happen. A terrible experience, a terrible experience. But we got Bigfoot. Yes! <laughs> we tagged out. And if we can tag out in deer season and elk season, we're golden. Oh, man. Plus, plus, I think we're going to go to Scotland and see if we can get us a Loch Ness monster. That'd be <laughs> really neat. And, and I can't. Maybe I could even shoot down a UFO with a shotgun. There you go. And I'm looking forward to sharing the behind the scenes, um, all the stuff that. It was just so unbelievable about putting this movie together and following Bigfoot around the woods and you know, Bigfoot looking over my shoulder at the camera and it was <laughs> yeah I think crazy you, crazy times. You better crazy. take a look at her outtakes. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Now you've got to watch Darcy's outtakes, showing the inside info on how we filmed this which was something really strange because neither one of us knew what we were doing. It was a first and last time effort if you get my drift. And at times we really had problems. But thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next, next go around, whatever it is. And go ahead and watch those outtakes. You'll enjoy it. At this time I'd like to thank old Jim for playing the part of old Jim. He was a natural in that role. So, I'll try to sell you a book. Now these, these books are available in paperback in a lot of places, but probably the easiest place to get it is Amazon. You can get it in paperback or you can get it in Kindle. And if you're an Amazon Prime customer, you can read it for nothing. The first book my mortar board was olive drab. Tells about when I decided to skip the last two years of high school and go to Asia to battle with democracy's enemies. Spent a couple of years overseas and wasn't all that much fun, but it's interesting reading. The second one, now that I think about it, is a series of short stories that details the life I led the year after my first wife kicked me out of the house. I roamed around the state collecting memories and stories, fishing and hunting. It's interesting and very humorous. So, that's my spiel. Go buy one and help me produce another movie. <laughs> or maybe pay me off from trying to ever do it again. Thank you.